Assembly of Nigeria held its national convention in Abuja, bringing together young leaders from across the country to discuss key issues affecting Nigerian youth. The convention provided a platform for youth to engage in meaningful discussion, share ideas and develop solutions to address the challenges facing their generation. As Nigerian futures leaders, these young individuals are critical to the country's development and growth. Former President of Yan, Shuai Busani, in an interview with journalists after the convention, charged the incoming leaders of Yan should see their emergence as an act of God and also have a teamwork in way and manner they will be operating. Uh, the incoming leadership should uh, see their emergence as an act of God. God gives leadership to whom he wills at the time he wills. Any of them that emerge as the national speaker, the other should keep behind and support so that we'll get it right in the long run. And I only want to appeal to the incoming leadership that they should have a teamwork in the way and manner they operate. You can see here, we have the national deputy speaker, our God national speaker is here with me. That's to tell you that there is teamwork. We have the leader of the minority in the house is here with me. That's to tell you that it is teamwork. We have the, my own chief of staff, who is Ambassador Kaduna State, is here. All these young people you are seeing behind, Niger Ambassador is here. And uh, my powerful chief clerk is here. My Ogakota Kota from Zamfara State, the ADC is here. And uh, other critical stakeholders are here. You discover that teamwork is very, very essential. The speaker should not sit down and take decision alone. He should work with all and sundry. And lastly, I want to appeal to the incoming leadership to initiate youth empowerment mm -hmm. programs that will make our youth uh, self-reliant, uh, self-sustainable in terms of economy, and otherwise, if they do that, they will get it right. Thank you very much. Uh, all the policies and programs uh, set up by the government are policies that uh, we believe uh, will give us long-term uh, benefits, but uh, I want to appeal to him that the young people are feeling the brunt much more than the established and the elites. So I want to appeal to Mr. President to look into the plight of the young people and provide an enabling environment for us to thrive economically, to thrive politically, to thrive socially, educationally, and otherwise. By the time enabling environment is provided for us, I believe it will go a long way in addressing monumental challenges affecting the young people in Nigeria. We want to reiterate that uh, we will not do anything to frustrate the administration, but the administration should equally reciprocate the gesture by not coming up with harsh policies and programs that will frustrate Nigerian youth. Experience of this month back, where the youth took over the street, uh, is a uh, testimony that uh, all is not well. But we want to assure Mr. President that we want to support him to succeed. But Mr. President should equally look at the young people and provide the environment for us to thrive. The advice I have for the incoming executives of the Fourth Assembly is that they should work in unity. Because we believe in unity we can uh, progress. And I want to also advise them that we have some responsibility in protecting the image of our country. We don't have any other country apart from Nigeria. Then the success, unity, and progress of Nigeria is our number one priority. This is the short advice I will give to the Fourth Republic for our progress. I would have declared the invitation in some minutes after our conducting uh, Those that have interest in joining the Youth Assembly of Nigeria, you can join from your what level? You can join from your local government level, you can join from your state level. It is from your state level now you go to national level. It is from what level you go to local level. It is from local level then you go to state level. This is how the structure is. Uh, we have serious collaboration with many NGOs that are into peace uh, agitation, that are into progress agitation, they are also into youth development and initiatives. We all have partnership, even with government, because we are partner of progress. We advise government when the needs comes. We also tell government the necessary when the need arrives. Well, just like every other youth organization in Nigeria, um, YAN is not an exception. Uh, we have other challenges. Of course, one of the challenges is um, diversity and um, 
Uh, we also have a division just like every other group, but I'm believing that uh, Jan is a family. That is what we call ourselves and that is what we are known for. And um, in order to provide solutions to remedy the situation, we should see Jan as um, a family that is bigger than every other organization. We should see Jan as a body that um, is supreme than our personal and other interests. Now when we see this organization as an interest, we can break bounds and make sure that we do exploit as an organization. Well, it is no longer a news that from January to this time, a lot of hardship has been um, going on. People are suffering. We can see the hikes in, in floor price and the hikes even uh, in a cup of Gary that even a common man cannot even afford. We are advising the government to go back to the drawing table to ask, do a feasibility study to know what its citizens or citizens are going through and then they can be able to provide solutions.